What up, YouTube? It's your boy. Back at it again here. This time we've got uh, 200 hard clues again. Really grinding these out. Uh, as you can see, uh, when I was grinding at Glaciers, I got myself the Constitution Pet, which is pretty dope. I'm at 1570 hard clues done. Uh, let's get up the collection log before I start opening. Uh, I was basically, I've got everything in here except. For the double agent title, which is what I'm going for as the first goal in this series, I, I need the white unicorn mask, blue unicorn mask, the rune plate skirt gilded, and one third age piece. Obviously, I wouldn't uh, cry at getting a broadcast. I'm a little bit dry on broadcasts lately, but I got really lucky in my first thousand clues, so I can't complain. Alright, let's get into it. Uh, I'm just going to start the stopwatch. I don't think I need to do anything else. Let's get into it. All right. I've um, been having having a lot of fun doing clues lately. Just grinding them out. Especially, it helps that uh, I haven't had to go to Hellhounds for a while. Let me make sure I'm recording. Okay, I am recording. <laughs> okay, actually, also. Can I move? Yeah, I can't move that interface in here. I'm gonna have to figure that out somewhere else. It's it's uh not the best place for that interface to be honest. Like it's in my face, my person's face. I'll zoom out a little bit. All right. Well, a little uh little things for me to figure out later. I couldn't figure. I couldn't find the stupid interface in uh, the advanced settings. I'm trying to move it so it's not. I can like open in weird spots and show off where I'm at. Um, yeah, so far really nothing noteworthy in the first 20. We're really blazing through them. I should slow down a little bit so I don't mess up and reroll or something, but the good thing is in hearts there's not a lot you could screw up. Because it's I mean, you're either getting a master or you're not. You're either getting a broadcast or you're not. I mean, what could you really mess up about? Hard clues. Um, yeah, I think I've decided... I, I mentioned last episode I was going to buy the uh, Magma Tempest ability, uh, which is about 900 mil. I might hold off on that and instead buy a Prazel Codex, which honestly, if I get enough money in this episode, I might just go buy it right now. Um, I want to buy it for the Affliction Curse for for the for the Magic Tier 99 Prayer. First puzzle box skipping tickets, like to see it. Uh, not too good to see them 40 in, but three is a good amount. I'm not gonna complain. Got another master, nice. Um, that's a miss. That's a miss on third age. So, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna reroll it. Actually, we'll, we'll keep it there. I'm not gonna use it till the next opening, and then I right after that get another duplicate fox mask. That's unfortunate. But yeah, like I said, if if I get a 300 mil in this opening, it's not looking too likely right now. Um, I'll go ahead and buy that uh, appraisal codex. Also, I'll start with that, and then I'll move on to the Magma Tempest ability. Oh my gosh, another miss on Third Age. Okay, yeah, you don't get those that often, really. So, uh, you know, getting the misses out of the way, I guess. I'll take it. Um, oh. That hurts a little bit, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird at the beginning. Oh, oh Samurai page two was a uh, was a new page for me for the general collection log, but nobody really cares about that. Um, yes, yeah, when when I started this series, I didn't even know what the misses were and all that stuff. Like uh, noted potions, I was like, uh, I knew that from a long time ago, but or from watching, to be honest. Uh, 2007 scape videos 
I think... I mean, I'm probably not in the minority of people that watch, you know, plays RuneScape 3, but watches old school RuneScape content. That's actually what got me uh, back into this game, was running across, I think, um... I think it was Bodhi's videos back in the day. Um, it was like that playing RuneScape properly series. Um, nice, another three. I'm catching up on the puzzle box. Give me tickets, nice. Um, and I think that's pretty rare, Amy the Fairy T. I've gotten a lot of them, but uh, cool to see those. Yeah, uh, that series is awesome. And I know, like, I mean, there's a lot of different series nowadays that pull crazy views and get a lot of interest. Like, obviously, Settled. Uh, everybody's watched that, I'm sure. Especially that's watching this video. But uh, the Mauritania locked accounts. And, and now there's just, like, a million Snowflake Iron Man out there. Uh, stuff that basically is fun to watch but isn't actually fun to do, I would assume. Triple fortunate, nice. Um, but yeah, you know, see, seeing people open clues, I'm, I'm sure that's where I got that information. And I, I think it's the same mechanics, at least for for uh, hard clues. So we're about halfway done here. Exactly a hundred left. Um, 136 mil, that's, I would say that's average, that's, that's average, and I've gotten six masters, I, I learned that that, I think it's, um, it's 15 out of 100 for masters, so, um, I don't, I think that's about average luck, six in 100, all right, we'll get to the next 100 here, just keep rolling. I mean, there, there are good uh, RuneScape 3 content creators, too, out there that are making, uh, triple fortunate again, that are making, uh, you know, cool content. I mean, you know, not to the same extent as old school, obviously, but, um, I mean, I've, I've been watching uh, some sick nerd, and obviously I watched a friend um, when he came back to, when he came back to this game. Um, I don't know though, it, I was thinking about making a video about this, I, I just, I feel like this game, wow that is a weird clue, that is a weird clue, I feel like this game is really limited by the type of content that people are making, it's like an art, oh, <laughs> I can't even talk because I'm getting interrupted. Rune Kite Shield Gilded. Nice. Gilded piece. One in about, I think, 600 per. Uh, it's got to be. I don't know if it's per item slot or whatever, but yeah. So I'm still missing. Uh, that's a duplicate, but that's a cool piece. Uh, I, I was going to make a video. I was thinking about it. Something about um, it basically being. The content creation of this game is now just an arms race of who can make the biggest grind possible and I feel like that's just really limiting uh, it's limiting the game and its content I mean how are you like supposed to make a good video if you have to put or make a creative new idea if you have to invest like 30 40 plus 100 something like that hours into one video and, and that's not even including the editing or the ideas in the video so you know I, I was thinking about that maybe uh, talking about the the arms race of content where like all of these videos are just dressed up progress videos you know like the, that's what they are it's it doesn't add content for it to take 500 hours or a hundred hours for a grind or whatever but but at the same time I still watch them so it definitely has something um, that that's some of the stuff that I like the most about RuneScape content is the you, you know people are 
really putting themselves out there and going for it. And uh, they have a passion for it, at least at the beginning, <laughs> for the big grind that they're undertaking. Uh, 50 clues left. We're at 200 mil. Yeah, I'd say this is a pretty, pretty eh opening, but that's okay. I uh, got the rune. As long as we get like one cool thing per, per 200, I'm okay with that. And the gilded kite shield counts as that, so not complaining. Um, yeah, I was thinking about making a video yet, just like showing like, I don't know, it'd be nice if like, because I'm part of the problem as a thing, but like just holding, having different standards, like, oh, it doesn't just have to be about like, oh, I locked, like, because now you see a million accounts locking themselves to every area of old school. And at a certain point, you got to go, okay, uh, I mean, it's it's an easy formula for getting noticed on YouTube. Like, I get so many of them recommended to me, so I get it. But at a certain point, like, when are people going to, you know, start innovating again? Like, uh, like I watch, uh, like, one, like, a lot of these people, too, like, I don't know if they just even want to be YouTubers or, or if they're just jumping on a trend, because, like, all the people from back in the day, like, Bodhi, uh, Torvesta, to an extent, like, uh, uh, Spark Mac, you know, they all have personalities, you know, they're entertaining, they can, they can maintain a stream, like a friend. You know, he's a he's a quirky guy, uh, and nowadays it just feels like it's just people talking over what they're doing, which is kind of what I'm doing to be honest. I'm not I'm not any better. It's just talking over what they're doing, and I mean, going, oh my gosh, like oh I got this, which I mean that's what clues girls are. It's like, you know, if if I got something, I'd do the same exact thing again, but. I mean, there, there's interesting stuff, too. Like, there's Guns Chili, there's Rendy. I like those guys. They're doing some different stuff, and Torvesta's good, too. But, you know, it, it seems like, for example, if somebody starts doing, like, Blender edits in their videos, then, like, everybody just starts putting them in their, in their video. It's like, at the end of the day, it's still a progress video. It's like, how does that really... Man, this was a weird opening. 32 costume skipping tickets. That's really what uh, threw the price check off by like... Oh, why am I reloading it? I, I, sorry if I got on, on the weird tangent. You, you guys might not agree with me. Probably... I mean, I, I like the tiles concept. I, I mean, I've been watching a lot of Snowflake accounts. I, I like seeing people be passionate about stuff. Don't get me wrong, but... Um, I feel like... It's like a... A trendy thing and people are gonna kind of maybe wake up to it at some point like they're all the same last one I'm not re-rolling it okay so 16 masters didn't quite up get to the uh, to the appraisal codex but you know I'll take it uh, I just kind of want to see how many uh, how many uh, fortunates I got here like these comp bows are always cool to see the 28 comp uh, Magic Compos, 22 U Compo, and the Gilded Piece. Awesome. Here's my collection log. You can pause it if you want to really look through it. And yeah, again, you know, two, 400 openings, two in a row, where didn't get too much, which is, you know, I, I got money, but I didn't get any new collection log slots, so uh, I'm starting to get to the point where my spooned this is uh, wearing off, which is great. All right, thanks for watching.